Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital, and in this video I wanna run through how to pull your post ID from a Facebook post so that you can leverage that, uh, that same post within a different ad in Ads Manager. Just quickly, why you'd wanna use this process in the first place is if you have a lot of social proofing built up on a creative, so likes, comments, etc., and you wanna run that same creative with, or that same ad with all that, you know, credible, um, attractive social proofing on that same ad, you can do so with this process. Obviously, if you change anything on that ad or recreate a new ad, you lose all of that social proofing. So this is a great way to leverage that. And obviously that's a, a good thing to, to get into the habit of doing. So this process used to be, I'm just gonna minimize my face here. This process used to be quite confusing to find the actual post ID, but Facebook has cleaned this up quite a lot. So first step is go into the actual ad itself. So as you can see here, we've manually created this ad. Um, just to reference, sometimes if you have multiple headlines and uh, multiple primary text uh, texts, sometimes the post ID process doesn't work. Um, but I'm gonna show you the two options that I would test in terms of trying to find this post ID and get this to work because it is a bit of a gray area. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but this is the best uh, process to follow. So first step, so in your actual ad that you've created uh, manually, go to the share button over here and then hit Facebook post with comments and that'll pull up the actual Facebook post itself here. Now, as you can see here in the URL bar, we've got the, or some other ID here, and then we've got the post ID here. So copy that post ID um, and then go back to your ad. And if you, okay, it's just a reference how to get here. If in the ad setup section, you can either, so if you click the, Sorry, if you click the drop down here, you can either create the ad itself or use the existing post. So we are obviously gonna click use existing post and then scroll down to the uh, enter post ID and we'll paste that post ID in there. And as you can see, it should pull up a new post for us. Yep, there you go. Pulls up the, the new post that we wanna run in the specific ad. Now, if for whatever reason, this URL doesn't look like this and you can't actually pull the post ID from the URL itself, there are, or there is another option that you can try and it's using the dev tools um, for this. This sometimes doesn't work, but I have had it where this URL bar doesn't um, you know, reflect correctly. And Facebook has cleaned this up a lot. It used to be a lot more difficult to find that post ID. But if for whatever reason, again, if it doesn't appear in the actual URL itself, you can try using the dev tools. So do that, um, go on to, so right click on your post and then hit inspect and it'll pull up the dev tools at the bottom here. Then from here, just hit control or command F to pull up the search bar and type in post underscore ID, which will essentially pull up the post ID in the actual code itself. As you can see here, it highlights a whole bunch of code. So we're just gonna select all of that, copy that and dump it into a note editor over here. Um, I just tested to, to see if that worked prior. So just paste that all in there and then control F um, so control F or, or search within this note bar, type in post ID and search for that. And as you can see here, it pulls up that same ID there, um, which you can then copy and paste into your ad. And it should bring up exactly the same post. Yeah, brings up exactly the same post there. So those are the only two options that I'm aware of that you have. Again, obviously the first option is to pull it from the URL itself, that's first prize. If it doesn't work, try using the dev tools to pull that post ID out as well. So that was it for this video. Anything else or any questions, let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.